Ooh. Alrighty. Alrighty, everybody. I know. Settle down. Settle down. It is. It's finally that time. It's finally here, folks. I know. We've um, definitely been through a bit of a slog getting through these uh, cases here. These... Uh, Why does it still not seem like it's focused? It's pissing me off like so bad right now. Uh, you little. Yes, yeah, I hate that. Like, why is that like not sharp? I mean, can, is, I mean, is this all right for you guys? Can you see this? Because, like I said, on my end, it looks fuzzy, and I hate that. Like, it's it literally pisses me off so bad because, like, I, I've been setting this stuff up like, where it needs to be set up, and for some reason lately, it's just like it's not – like, I literally have to hold it, like, back here just to get it clear. All right, that's what I'm saying, but, like, I want it – I want this to be sharp, you know? So I'm saying it's annoying when I hold it here and you guys can't even read the damn name, you know? <sighs> that just annoys me. I feel like they must have did something to YouTube. I think they must have updated something because, like I said, like I've, I've been setting it up exactly how I've been setting it up. And for some reason, it's just like it's like it's not it's not the same anymore. So... All right, fine, fine, YouTube, be a little fucker, but whatever, but I'm not going to uh, mess with it at the moment, I guess, we'll just have to deal with it once again, so again, apologies, guys, like I said, I'm about ready to break YouTube in half, because they're little fuckers, but anyways, so go ahead and... Um, Make sure to put the messages out. But, yeah, like I said, I mean, I, I you know, I mean, the background stuff's nice having that sharp, but, you know, I, I need it sharp up here, you know. So, anyways, so, oh, well, whatever. I was, I, that's just something I'm going to have to, like I said, I think YouTube must have updated or something whenever it had that little blackout phase that we, uh, we just went through here recently, so I think they must have updated something about it. Because, like I said, everything I've I've always said it to where it's been perfectly fine. Now it's like for some reason the focus is just not it's just not there anymore. So I'm gonna have to figure out where I need to have it now. So, but whatever. Again, we'll just muddle through this break, I suppose. Again, we'll just do the best we can. It's just but like I said, just really irritates the crap out of me, though. So that's not a good start for the break, but uh, hey, whatever, right? So, but here we are. It is that time finally to uh, to break this uh, this case here we have of um, 2324 SP game used, as you can uh, see here. You can kind of make out the numbers there, I guess. That's a little bit bigger, so that helps. But, um, excuse me, 02, as you can kind of see there. If I hold it back here, you can see it, but there you go. O2 is the uh, the number on the uh, the master case. So, but yeah. So again, like I said, I apologize for the uh, the focus and stuff once again because, like I said, that, that's only I can think of is is that YouTube did something recently and they must have updated something, and I'm gonna have to um, got to find that sweet spot once again because like i said i had it figured out there for a while but you know the last couple of times i put it in there it hasn't been um the the focus and stuff hasn't been as sharp you know for up close so but oh well like i said we'll just uh, get through this again that's something i'll just have to work on and look towards and uh, get figured out i guess we'll have to figure out the new uh the new focus number <clears throat> but but yes, yes, as you can see here, here is our, uh, there it is, 18 boxes per case. So we do have 18 boxes of SP game used. 
to go. So again, this uh, the, I opened a personal box yesterday of it. I thought it was a pretty good box. Got two autos out of it. So, um, so there could always be that little uh, caveat. You never know. We could be getting a couple extra autos in the boxes and stuff. So I'm okay with that. Um, but I do think this will be a fun case. Again, hopefully we all have a good time uh, as we rip it. Hopefully we see a lot of good stuff. Just want to see this thing just kind of, uh, you know, just the just the lava flow of fire go out uh, to all you guys. You know, so that's always my big thing. So uh, let's see. Let's go get this bad boy open. Let's let it breathe. There it is, everybody. Whoop, whoop. All right. Who is excited? I'm excited. We will, uh, again, hopefully we see some, some big stuff out of the, uh, the case today. I don't think there's, you know, maybe something fell on their sides, but... This one was completely upside down, so I'll we'll have to save that one for the very end. <laughs> but all right, folks. So we have our uh, again. There's these are stacks of three, so three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, and eighteen. So all eighteen boxes are here. They are ready to rock and roll. Again, I'm going to. Uh, set this one off to the side because again that box was upside down so that'll be uh, the last one to use and then i think what we'll do is we'll just do the clockwise thing so slide these guys there 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 and we'll do those next and this here <clears throat> Will be our starting point. This will be box number one. And again, I do have a uh, my little sheet here next to me, my little cheat sheet. Not only does it have the teams, but obviously it does have all the guys that uh, took the boxes for Chicago as well. So obviously, I'll be able to keep track of that. I will be making notes as well <clears throat> um, next to people's names for the Chicago boxes. Uh, if they do, if they do happen to hit anything Chicago, I'll just make a little mark of it, just because again, I just want to make sure I, you know, make sure I, they go to the right place. So that's always important to me, especially when we do uh, when we split the uh, the cases up like that. You know, it's always that's always a big thing. I always want to make sure the people that should be getting the hits are getting their right hits. So okay. And this here will be our starting point for this break. Again, we got 18 boxes to go. Put our little platform down for our cards to be set up on. A couple decoys there to block your to block your little nosy views. I know you guys just always want to get those little sneak peeks in of what's coming up, but I'm going to do the best I can and not let you. I know. <laughs> Anyways, so. <laughs> ah, rare form today, folks. Again, it's early. It is early, everybody. It's 2 o'clock. What are we doing breaking at 2 o'clock? I don't know. It's a Sunday. But you know what? That's just how she's. Uh, how this one's going to be breaking, though. And again, I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, I think, I think this will be a fun break. I know, um, like I said, a lot of the the twenty three twenty four stuff. Again, I've I've mentioned that uh, you know with the pricing of it, we're gonna kind of you know proceed with caution with a lot of these cases because again, I just think that some of them, again, like with the black diamond, uh, it's just kind of just I think that's just too far out of our our price range, and uh, it's you know I just I personally I just don't think there's enough people that are gonna want to pay those prices for it. So again, I think like obviously black diamond will we will be skipping, but again on the on the flip side though, again I've got uh, some really good deals on some twenty two twenty three product and stuff. So again, I'll be looking to uh, be dropping that for breaks here over the next few weeks. 
And I, I'm sure everyone's going to like that pricing much better. Trust me. You're going to, you're going to love that pricing, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, but again, with 23, 24, it's just one of those things again with the, with the Bedard mania going on and stuff and then the, the craze of it all, um, you know, we'll, we'll like, so we'll kind of proceed with caution with a lot of the stuff that we're doing again. Cause like I said, for me, uh, like I mentioned, uh, last night, uh, during the one Raz, you know, for me, uh, you know, I'm not really super interested in, uh, in just being a financial vampire <laughs> to you guys. Like I said, for me, that's not fun. That's like, you know, that's just like, that's just booty. So, you know, for me, if it's not fun, uh, for you guys, for me and stuff, like I said, it's just, it's just not worth it. So I always want to keep these things as, as, accessible like i said i like using that word you know i like saying accessible you know because that's just how I, I like being a just uh having a good range of prices for folks and again if you only got 20 bucks hey you might have a team just for you then so you just never know but again i just i like keeping it on the cheaper side uh, just because it's cheaper doesn't mean it's not fun doesn't mean you still can't get some really good hits and stuff out of there absolutely so Again, I always look forward to uh, ripping with you guys. I do love doing this for you. And uh, again, as always, I'm going to be the the broken record as always, and uh, just say thank you guys. It is uh, super super appreciated. You guys obviously filling the stuff up, and um, as I always say, allowing me to break cards for you because that's what it is. You guys are allowing me to do this. And uh, you guys are putting the trust in me, into the powder keg, and uh, we like to deliver. So we do the best we can, folks. So, And again, before we get into it, again, quick, quick shout out to a few folks. Uh, again, I want to give a quick shout out to, uh, to Mr. Dar. We all know Dar and stuff in the room. Again, uh, uh, without him uh, being willing to go and grab the cases and send them to me, we wouldn't have the cases uh, that we do. Um, so again, quick shout out to Dar. Thank you as always there, buddy. It is uh, always super appreciated on my end. Uh, you helping us out like this. And of course, to the, uh, the, the shop that sells us these cases and that uh, treat us pretty damn well, I think, uh, Triple Play. So uh, thanks to obviously Ron and the guys as always. Um, I told him that I, I always try to give him a shout out every time I go live, especially with his cases and things like that. Uh, because again, I'm always, always super, uh, just, just grateful that again, they, they give us some, some really good prices and stuff on things. And, you know, so that's always a big deal for me. Uh, cause like I said, I don't, I, I just, I, ugh, I hate, I hate charging a lot of money for stuff. You know, it's just, it's just ugh, not my, not, I'm not a fan. So, so yeah, so a quick shout out there to Dar and to Ron and triple play and everybody that helped make this possible. And, um, Yeah. Yeah. Again, you guys uh, go ahead and, and talk it up if you want. Again, it is about time to get with the uh, with the breaking and everything. Just wanted to kind of give a quick few shout outs and stuff real fast. Uh, again, uh, it's always important for me to do that. So a little bit of gratitude goes a long way, folks. But uh, so, yes, yeah, so I'm always very grateful for you guys as always to uh, fill the breaks up and make this happen because they don't happen without you. So. Thank you as always, though. And as always, as always, best of luck, everybody. I really hope we have a good case here. Looking forward to it. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead again. I'm done with the talk and done with the done with the talk. Let, let's get into this right now. It is that time. It is that time to get into our master case here of 2324 SP game use. Empty box, as you can see in our numbers. Try to get them as best I can. I know it's going to be kind of hard to see here because, again, like I said, that focus is a bit off. Like I said, I'll have to, I'll have to play with YouTube here eventually and uh, figure out the new focus here because I said I had it down. But now I think, uh, like I said, ever since we had that little blackout issue for those few days, I just feel like they must have updated something and something changed because all my settings now don't seem to uh, – they don't seem to be cutting it. <laughs> but – all right, but there you go. But the uh, the sticker here, we have 49 on the sticker. Last two numbers on the sticker, there's 49. And then on the box here, we have, well, we have the great eight. We have 08 on the box. So 49 on the sticker. 
Oh, wait on the box. Let's see what SP Game Used has in store. Wow. I don't know what that is. It's like an acetate card or something, but it's a thick piece of something. Oh, interesting. Interesting. The plot thickens already, folks. Because, boom, look at that. I don't know what that is. Of course, it's actually, it looks like it's already been sleeved. That's that's always a good sign, I think, if you get a card that's been pre-sleeved. Because if you look, that actually has a penny sleeve already on it, folks. So I don't know what we got here, everybody. But we might have something. Okay, we got, all right. Sleeve cards are acetate. Well, it does look like acetate to me. <laughs> all right. So. <sighs> Let's see. Again, I hope that's a good start. I like seeing that. It's a good start. And again, box number one for Chicago is Caleb, Mr. Caleb Lendy. So, uh, again, best of luck to uh, everybody. So, again, but uh, we will see what we get. Again, normally top card. We'll probably go with the we'll, – we'll show the top card because I think the top card is normally the base card, and then I'll probably go to the, the bottom – few cards because those are more like your patches and stuff and then we'll we'll kind of get to the the middle of the, the pack there where the, all the where the the meat the the big hits and stuff are at so oh oops i think we're a little upside down i do declare i do declare i think we're upside down all right so starting us off for the break Try to hold it back here so you guys can at least get a good uh, view of the name and stuff. We have Jonathan Gruden. 109 out of 223 authentic rookies going to the Pittsburgh Penguins. And again, it's only we're only doing this one case. So because of that, I'll probably try to sleeve as much stuff as I can tonight or today, I should say. Um just because, again, it's only the one case, so it's not, you know, and it's only one pack of box, so it's not like it's, you know, I mean, it'll take us a little bit of time, but, you know, let's let's enjoy this a little bit, right? You know, there's no need to be rushing. And I don't mean like Marshenko or Ovechkin, but, but we can uh, take our time a little bit and, again, try to enjoy the uh, enjoy the case. So there we go. Starting us off, Mr. Jonathan Garudin. May need to uh, open me up a window here soon. It's getting a little warm in here. The weather has uh, definitely got better. So <laughs> let's see what we got next up. For the Columbus Blue Jackets, we got Mr. Johnny Gaudreau from the Global Series in Finland Fabrics. Going to the CBJ all the way. And going to our buddy Ryan. So you're already off the schneid, buddy. No skunkaroos for you there, Mr. Man. No, sir. There we go. Let me crack that window open just a wee bit. Just a wee warm in here right now. What do we got next? We got authentic rookies fabrics here for the Toronto Maple Leafs. We got Bobby McMahon. Bobby McMahon for Toronto. And Toronto is going to our first timer. Only in breaks, but not in our hearts. To Mario. So there you go. First hit of the break there for you of your of your breaking uh career with us i think that looks like an auto so we'll skip up here uh oh well there you go justin could be a good sign for you we got a new grooves fabrics for you for the minnesota wild rookie brock 
Faber. So there you go, Glomsky, Bomsky, dot Comsky. There you go, buddy. Hopefully, again, hopefully the uh, first of a few more Faber hits for you today. So there you go, buddy. Little Brock Faber, new grooves. Let's see. Yep. So we're going to go for the back piece here. I do believe this was an auto. And it is going to the Anaheim Ducks. So there you go, uh, Ken, buddy. Holy Erickson Eck, authentic rookies auto going to the Anaheim Ducks. So again, there you go, buddy. Again, hopefully uh, we got more stuff here for you guys as well. This is only box number one. We still got 17 more to go. But there you go, a little Ole Erickson Eck Auto there going for you. I think this should fit in the thinner. It does, yes. Kind of glad I opened that box yesterday to so give me an idea of what I'll need size-wise from my top loaders. I got them all ready here next to me, so hopefully I'm uh, I'm pretty prepared. But there you go for the Anaheim D -D 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 Ducks. Ole Erickson Eck. So first auto of the break going to the Ducks. And congrats there to Ken. And again, now we have an acetate here. As you can see, it's got a uh, penny sleeve and stuff around it. So I don't know, guys. I don't know. <laughs> Here we go, everybody. Best of luck. This is the last card for box number one. It's uh, Hopefully, it could be something special. Authentic rookies. For the Buffalo Sabres, Matt Savoy, I think the name is. So, oh, there you go. One of 25. So very nice. I was wondering, I was like, it doesn't look like it's numbered, but it is numbered. One of 25 going to the Buffalo Sabres. So there you go. That's going to uh, Jeff. So there you go, my man, Matt Savoy, I do believe. Again, I could be wrong with the name. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But um, I think we can. Is that going to fit one in here? I think it should. No, nope. I need to go just a wee bit thicker. And there it is. Yeah, nice. Normally, anytime I see something sleeved in a pack, I always get kind of excited because I'm always thinking like, oh, this could be big, you know, because I just remember going to hitting that whatever that eight way auto for Anaheim in our one break of SPA. It was already uh, had a sleeve and stuff on it. So. But there you go, Buffalo, Matt Savoy, again, Acetate Authentic Rookies, one out of 25, going to the Sabres. Okay, I got you. On to box number two. Let's mark this down again. And uh, because we are running this earlier today, I will be able to uh, run the the giveaway um, for the, the Chicago boxes as well here a little bit later after we get done with everything. And I kind of see who's going to be entered because, as I stated, if you hit a Bedard, unfortunately, your box will be excluded from the, uh, you know, from the uh, the pick or whatever, because I, I kind of feel like, hey, you, gotta, you hit a Bedard, you know, that's that's a pretty big prize. So you don't need no more than that, you know. But here is box number two. This one is going to Will for Chicago. So there you go, Will. Let's see what we got. We got 29. 29 on the sticker. And 40 on the box. Sign one right here. Empty box. 29 on that sticker and 40 on the box. It does look like it got maybe a thick one in there. It does look a little bit thicker, so we'll have to wait and see. 
Yeah, there is a thick one in here, folks. So I think it goes like this. So there you go. And it uh, could be in the auto position, so that could be good. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Okay, try not to do any peeking. First up for the Montreal Canadiens, Sean Farrell, 46 out of 222 for the Montreal Canadiens. Authentic rookies base. Set him over yonder. All right, let's go down to the back of the pack now. And next up for the Philadelphia Flyers. Again, I kind of unfortunate. Uh, you know, I mean, his stuff's still going to be in here, but got Carter Hart banner year. At least it's a. I don't even know what that is. It doesn't even look like a, a patch piece. The piece of a decorative banner. I think they're, I don't think this actually has a, a, a banner in there because it's just like the card. <laughs> so there you go. There's some upper deck uh, quality control there for you because it does not look like there's actually any patch in this card. <laughs> oh, upper deck never change. Well, that's what I'm saying, though, but it doesn't even, I mean, it, I mean, this, I mean, I guess it could be part of a banner, but it don't, I mean, unless it's like a plastic banner, I suppose, but it just feels like, uh, okay, there you go. Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe it's vinyl, I guess. I'm thinking like, man, <laughs> like, how do you forget the patch piece? Come on. But yeah, it could be true, though. It could be a vinyl piece, though, as well. So that's very true. So there you go. Going to the uh, the Flyers there, Carter Hart. Take him down, put him out of the way. And next up, ooh, we got a little something gold here. I think that's, uh, I can't remember what there's called, but Deep Cuts. For the LA Kings, going to our buddy Matt, Mr. Matt Pont. Mm, Pont, mm, Pont, 145 out of 250. Deep cuts, Dave Taylor for the Kings. A little bit of a uh, throwback hit here. Going to L.A. Kind of interesting card. Hmm. I think there's actually like a piece of acetate in between here in those, in those holes there. It's not actually just a hole. So... Interesting. There you go, Mr. Pont. First hit of the break. Dave Taylor. Okay. And what do we got next? And we got a Blackhawk. Ah, so close. We got Mr. Cole Gutman for the Chicago Blackhawks. Cole Gutman, authentic rookie auto going to Chicago. Thought it was going to be a uh, like a patch piece or something like that, but it is not. Going to Chicago. So this is going to Will. make a little note of that so so going to the Blackhawks Cole Gutman rookie auto make sure I mark that down real fast make sure I get that all labeled all right next card up folks what are we going to get 
Oh, very nice for the Arizona Coyotes. So there you go, Jan, getting your first one of the uh, the break here. 85 out of 499 SP rookie debut, Logan Cooley for the uh, Yotes. And the Yotes have been on fire, it seems, lately. They have been uh, put up some points, and he's been a part of it. So, again, very cool. So there you go, Logan Cooley, 85 out of 499 game use SP rookie debut, Logan Cooley. So very nice. Well, uh, we got our thick card next. I didn't see if it was a draft day mark, so I'm not sure if that is the case. I'll take down Mr. Faber, put up Mr. Cooley. Oh, it is. Uh, oh, uh, oh, I think it's uh, one of the Hall of Fame. Uh, I think it's one of the Hall of Fame pieces here. Very interesting. So let's see what we got. Best of luck, everybody. Yep. As you can see, inducted 2019. I know you can't really see that as well. I do apologize. Inducted 2019. So I don't know who was inducted in 2019, but. For the Dallas Stars, we got Mr. Sergey Zubov, 5 out of 35 Hall of Famer marks. So this one is going to Nikki. There you go, little Sergey Zubov, Hall of Fame marks for the Dallas Stars. So there you go. Again, get your, uh, get your first one here of the break. Get you going in that right direction. Interesting, uh, interesting hit. I'll have to uh, so there you go. Hall of Fame marks, Mr. Sergey Zuzubov. Yeah, we'll take down Kata Hot. Take down Kata Hot. You don't need to be up there no more. Sorry, Kata. So there you go. So, Will, there you go, buddy. Though you got uh, Cole Gutman auto. Again, I know it's not Bedard, but uh, hey. You know, it's better than nothing, right? So, <laughs> but anyways, enough of that nonsense. It's time for box number three. And this box here for Chicago is going to Mr. Jeff. So the uh, the man that hit the uh, Sabres acetate there. This one is for you for Chicago. And again, we have uh, 35 on the sticker. And 86 on the box. So 35 sticker, 86 on the box. Feels like we have another thick one in here. So again, maybe we'll get our first draft day mark. I don't know. Yeah, and there's a thick one in there, folks. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I need to uh, put this right side up. There you go. There's that thick one there. So, again, this is going to Jeff for Chicago. Again, best of luck, everybody. This is box number three. Let's see what we're going to start with. For the Washington Capitals. So going to our buddy Graham. I know you're always looking for more of the uh, Ovechkin persuasion, but uh, sometimes you just need to kind of put that first crack in that dam, right? You know, so 89 out of 110. We have the gold uh, base here of Genny Kuznetsov for the Washington Capitals. And that is going to our buddy G. Take him down, put him up. And let's go ahead, go to the, uh, yeah, we'll go to the back. Why not? 
And we got a Winter Classics Fabrics going to the Pittsburgh Penguins. We got Kasperi Kapanen. A little, uh, little jersey piece here, it looks like, from the Winter Classic in Boston. Going to the Penguins. So there you go. Another one, <clears throat> another one for um for Drew. Oops, that's not the right size. That's the big one. So this one is going to our buddy Drewski. Drewski, give me a Brewski. We'll take down Mr. Dave Taylor. We'll put him up. Next up, what do we got? Ooh, pulling everything out. So. And we have another one here for the Buffalo Sabres, a nice one. We got Zach Benson, authentic rookie jersey piece. So that could be a good sign for the Sabres. So but there you go, Jeff. Another one here for you. Zach Benson, authentic rookies jersey piece. Grabbing the wrong one. Let's go ahead and get that sleeved. Move these guys back over. But there you go, Jeff. Zach Benson, authentic rookies for the Buffalo Sabres. Take down Mr. Cooley, put him up. And next up, well, let's go ahead and uh, I think we, we do have a draft day, Mark. So actually, I just seen a piece of that card. So, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with this one. It looks like it's a base. And another one here for the Sabres. So there you go. There's a double up Zach Benson in this box. We got 423 out of 499. Game used rookie here, going to the Buffalo Sabres once again, another Zach Benson. So that's uh, two times the Benson in one box. There you go. Na, 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 na. Hmm. This will take down Eric's deck. Let's go to the back here real quick. And we got a Blake Coleman for the Calgary Flames. And Calgary's going to Brian. Blake Coleman jersey piece. For the Calgary Flames. And like I said, I do believe we have a draft day mark up next. So there you go for the Flames. Since we already got another Benson up, we'll take him down and we'll put him up. Alrighty, folks. As you can see, uh -huh, a little draft day markage. So that's the question, though. Is it going to be the big gun? I don't know. We'll find out here when we do a little slow reveal. We'll see what the numbers say. Nice and slow. Uh, it does not look like a Blackhawk logo to me. But it does look like a Coyotes pick. Wow, so this is an update. Very nice, though. This one's going to Jan, buddy. So there you go. Updated draft day mark. This is from 22-23. We got Dylan Gunther, 2 out of 35, going to the Arizona Coyotes. So there you go there, Jan. Congrats there, buddy. You can, well, I mean, down here it says 23-24, but obviously Dylan Gunther was 22-23. Uh, so... But uh, very nice, though. At first, I thought it was going to be Logan Cooley because I saw the uh, the Yotes logo. But uh, but very nice, though. Dylan Gunther. Draft day mark. I 
one second, gotta open the new pack of top loaders. All right, so there you go, Jan, buddy. Got yourself a little bit of a roll right now. Take down Mr. Uh, Gutman. I'll put him right up there in the middle. Uh, we are just getting to now box number four. So again, uh, no Chicago, I don't believe in that box. On to box number four. And again, box number four for Chicago is going back to uh, Mr. Caleb Lindy. He had box number one. But uh, we have 57 on the sticker. And then 52 on the box. 57 sticker. 52 on the box. Let's open it the wrong way. That's okay. Oh, I thought it'd be okay. Maybe it's not. Right. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fight with the damn thing. Or am I? <laughs> this box does not want to open. But there you go. Empty box after it's been shredded into pieces, but uh, there you go. And then we got uh, 57 once again on the sticker and 52 on the box. We got another, uh, could be thick pack, so we'll see what we get. And we got another thick card in here. Nope, no Nash yet, buddy. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get this first card out of the way. For the Rangers, Ranger Danger, and this one's going to Sean. We have 115 out of 232, Artemi Panarin. Bit of the uh, all-star edition here, if you will. But going to the New York Rangers are Timmy Panarin. Make sure we get the right sleeve. Take down Kuzi, put a bread man. We'll go ahead and go with this one next. This is a sort of base. We've got authentic rookies base up next for the Boston Bruins. We got John Beecher, 203 out of 222. Excuse me. Going to the Bruins. Going to the Brew Dogs. There you go, John Beecher, authentic rookie. I'll take down Flames Patch. All right, let's go ahead and go to the back of the pack now. And we got uh, expansion draft for the Seattle Kraken here. And Seattle's going to our buddy Phil. Yeah, good. Yeah, okay. I guess that, that does feel like vinyl too, I guess. So I guess that makes sense. But uh, we have Yanni Gord, banner year from expansion draft. Going to the Kraken and going to uh, Phil. Filthy Phil. He's oh so filthy. And we'll 
put that bad boy right there, right up in the middle. Let's see what we got next. What is next? We got another, uh, what is this? Um, I can't remember the fucking name. Deep Cuts, that's it. Man. Yeah. There you go. Uh, deep Cut for the uh, the Anaheim Ducks up next. Rookie Nikita Nestorenko, 8 out of 250. 8 out of 250. Nikita Nestorenko for the Anaheim Ducks Deep Cut. Another one there for you, uh, Ken. I'm sure you're hoping for the uh, Leo Carlson persuasion. But, 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 but. All right. There you go. Nikita Nestorenko. Deep cuts for the Anaheim Ducks. I think we got two left, so I'm guessing this one could be an auto. It is not an auto, but we have a another patch piece here going to the New York Islanders. Again, one of the last teams to go. Um, normally, like I said, the Islanders and the Senators do normally pretty well. So, again, uh, having them go last, a you know, it happens. But don't say I didn't warn you, folks. <laughs> We got Anders Lee patch piece jersey piece here for the New York Islanders, and that is going to uh, Izzy Izzy Zaza Zaza Zegris. So there you go, first hit of the break for you, and get you going in that right uh, proper direction. We hope to uh, keep you going in. And now we got this uh, thick one here. I think, you know, don't know what it is. I'm kind of looking for, like, no no distinguishing marks here. So, best of luck, everybody. What are we going to get? It's green. It's green. It's mean. I think it actually goes like this, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. A piece of history, 50 goal club for the Boston Bruins, 5 out of 10. David Pasternak for the Boston Bruins. Very interesting here. So it's just more or less, it's a really nice uh, patch piece. As you can see there's a bit of yellow and black and stuff on there. But 5 out of 10 for the Boston Bruins, David Pasternak. A piece of history, 50 goal club. Going to our buddy Sleepers. So there you go, Sleeps. Let's go ahead and get this guy sleeved up and top loaded for you. There we go. Yes, indeed. Five out of ten, though, for the pasta, the pasta nata. We'll take down the uh, Gord expansion draft. Obviously, as we um, go through more boxes and get more hits and stuff, obviously the background will be a little more uh, set, you know. But obviously, as we're we're still hitting stuff, I'll kind of be trying to change out what I can until we kind of get more of the. You know, the bigger stuff kind of in the background at that moment. So, right, I don't think we hit any Hawks in that box either. So far, just the Gutman Auto for Will in box number two. On to box number five, everybody. We got 49 on the sticker, 89 on the box. So, we have matching uh, nines, 49. 89 so and this is box number five so box number five for chicago is going to our buddy eric empty box 49 on the sticker 89 on the box so eric best of luck to you in your box and we got another thick one here. Goes like this. All right. 
right, folks, let's see what we get. Let's start it off. For the Carolina Hurricanes, again, Carolina is going to DV. We have 25 out of 221. Tevu Taravainen, uh, red base here for the Canes. Start us off with box number five. Mr. Beecher, put him up. Take just a quick peek. Okay, so good. All right. I think we have another draft day marks up next, to be honest with you. Or at least that's that should be the thick card it looked like to me. So we should have our second draft day mark. But up next, we got Arnold Durando for the Islanders. We have uh, gold uh, authentic rookies base here, 10 out of 117. Again, going to the Islanders. So here's another hit there for you, Izzy. Get this guy sleeved up. Best sound in the world, you know. There you go. So there you go, Izzy. Arnold Drando. 10 out of 117 gold authentic rookies base. So we'll take him down. Let's go to the back of the pack. For the San Jose Sharkies, Global Series Fabrics here going to uh, Rory. I know you're looking for your uh, Mr. Thornton. But we'll do the best we can. But again, this could always be a good start. We're going to get that first hit out of the way. Again, you can kind of see there's a little bit of a pattern to that fabric. It's not just one solid color. There's There was something there, obviously, like picture-wise, I'm sure. But it's a nice little, uh, nice little patch hit there for the Sharks. Again, going uh, to Rory. There you go. I guess we'll take down Mr. Nestorenko. Let's see. What do we got next? Next card up. Looks like it's for the Detroit Red Wings. So this one is going to the other Izzy. Pack a day hockey Izzy. We have Simon Edvinson. Authentic rookie jersey piece for the Detroit Red Wings up next. Simon Edvinson. Going to Izzy Pack a Day. So we got Izzy Zaza Zegris, and then we got Izzy Pack a Day Hockey. So a couple Izzy's. If you please. All right. But there you go. We got Simon Edvinson. Up next for the wings. Take down the turbo. And let's see what we got next. For the Florida Panthers, we got Alexander Barkov. Again, this is an all-star uh, jersey piece, would be my guess. Or at least that's what it says, all-star, even though it looks like it's a Florida patch piece. Because it doesn't look like there's any kind of red on that jersey. So I'm guessing it's a Florida patch, but uh, it's under the moniker of All-Star, if you will. But there you go, Alexander Barkov, jersey piece for the Florida Panthers. And that is going to uh, Brendan. That one's done for pack ones. Take down Mr. Durando. I'll put him up. And now it's time for our thick one. Again, I do believe it is a yes, sir. Draft day marks. So let's see what we get. Again, best of luck, everybody. Let's see what the team is. Looks like we got for the Toronto Maple Leafs.
Bang, there you go. Matthew Nyes. So there you go, Mario. 18 out of 35, buddy. That is a nice hit there going to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Matthew Nyes, draft day marks. So there you go, my man. Very nice hit there going to Toronto. And again, the first time our luck is real. It's real. So we keeps it real around here, folks. We keeps it real. So very nice hit there uh, going to Toronto. And our first timer, again, first timer on the breaks, but uh, again, not in our hearts. There you go, Mario, buddy. Matthew Nyes, draft day marks, big old K for you. Is that okay? Is that K okay? I hope that K is okay with you. I'm okay with that K if you're okay with it. So, <laughs> anyways, I know I'm stupid. Whatever. Whatever. Sue me. I don't care. I'm a dork. I'm proud of it. There ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but All right, folks. Oh, stop with your, your throwing up there, Ryan. Stop it. You're making me feel bad now. <laughs> Anyways, but there you go. Hey, I mean, actually, so far, hey, I think uh, for the draft day, Mark, so far, we've hit two really good ones, you know, Gunther and Nice. Those aren't bad, aren't bad uh, players, so I'm not too upset about it. As much as I'd love to see that big B or an E or a D or an A and R or D, you know, for Bedard, but, hey, you know. So... So, no... Chicago on that one, neither. Again, so far, just the Gutman auto in box number two. So, but yes, congrats, though, to, uh, to Mario, though, buddy. Again, uh, nice hit, though. Nice nice. This is box number six, and we got Easy E. He's the easiest of E's that you'll ever meet. 46 on that sticker. I would love a redemption for Fantilli. I would absolutely love that. But, you know, they got to save those hits for the bigger breakers. Come on now. Pfft, whatever. Eh. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. I'm in a mood, folks. So what? We're going to have fun with it. Sue me. You want to fight me? So what? Anyways. 46 on the sticker. 04 on the box. So... You plug four into 46, was that 50? Well, boom, that's at least 50%, folks. Upper deck's going to at least give you 50% out of this box. So. And again, this box for Chicago is going to our buddy E, Mr. Easy E, Eric. So can, uh, we'll see what we get for you. See if we can't get uh, some Chicago hits rolling, but 46 on the sticker. And four on the box. No, no thick ones in this. So. so I thought I got that. Put that right side up. Okay. Box number six. Yes. So about a third of the way through, we still got 12 more to go. Let's see what we get. First up to bat. We got a little bit of a legend Hall of Famer throwback here for the Detroit Red Wings. We got 57 out of 183. Stevie Y going to uh, Miss Izzy Packaday. So there you go. Another uh, Red Wings hit there for you. Go ahead and get this guy sleeved up. And uh, top loaded. Well, I won't worry about putting this guy up in the background. We're starting to get kind of full. And again, like I'll start switching out a few of these. But again, as we start getting the bigger hits, I'll start leaving those ones up. But So there you go. Stevie Y. See, that's 57 out of 183 for the Detroit Red Wings. Let's take a quick. I didn't think that was autoed. But uh, we have, uh, next up we have uh, Winter Classic Fabrics for the Pittsburgh Penguins. 
Okay, going to Drewski. Now you can barf at this one, Ryan. You can go and barf if you want at this one. This is Sidney Crosby. Because, <laughs> you know, we always – that's the other thing. I mean, as much as we always hit the Senators and we hit the Islanders, you know, I really think we, we've put ourselves on the Crosby curse a little bit, and uh, we just always hit Crosby, which, again, from a breaking standpoint, from my standpoint, it's – okay, it's not the worst thing in the world. I don't mind seeing Crosby in the breaks and stuff because he's a big hit, but – you know, personally, I mean, yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, that's, uh, but, you know, but going to the Pittsburgh, oh yeah, I should probably open up another, another pack of tap loaders. Why not? Why not? We shall. Let's go. Let's go and get this bad boy all uh, sleeved up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Sidney Crosby, Winter Classic Fabrics for the Pittsburgh Penguins. All right. Let's go and skip down to the bottom here. We got Stadium Series Fabrics for the uh, Carolina Hurricanes, Brady Shea. So this, dude, this one's going to. Uh, DV. Oh, Stadium Series in Raleigh. I was going to say, where is that from? Oh, yeah. So there you go. Yep, but there you go. Going to the Carolina Hurricanes, Brady Shea Stadium Series Fabrics. Down, we'll put dude up. Let's see what we got next for the St. Louis Blues. This one's going to easy E. He did take the blues in this one, as well as obviously a box for Chicago. But we have Matthew Kessel, authentic rookie jersey piece here, going to the blues. Matthew Kessel. St. Louis, Matthew Kessel, Authentic Rookies Patch Piece. I'm just going to set that aside. I think we got two left. So, uh-oh. Looks like we got, uh, looks like a yellow sleeve, so I can only guess it's for Nashville. And it is. It's a RPA here for the Nashville Predators. So there you go, uh, Mike, buddy. Igor Afanasyev. 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 So there you go. But very nice, nice uh, RPA here. 49 out of 149. Going to the Nashville Predators and going to you, Mike, there. So very nice hit. That's that's uh, not uh, not too bad, not too bad. Just a little RPA there for you. All right, uh, we'll kick Crosby out of there. Why not? We'll leave him up. And let's see, for the last hit, it looks like we have a deep cuts, but uh, looks like it's a little bit shinier, so I don't know if that's good, bad, and different. Looks like we got a goalie, though, from what I can tell. And it is a true base, uh, true base here for the Flyers. It's Carter Hart, 58 out of 79. Obviously, to his jersey number, but 58 out of 79 going to the Philadelphia Flyers and Carter Hart. And all the Flyers are going to Pepe. So, again, a bit unfortunate is Carter Hart, obviously, with all his uh, with all his uh, legal woes going on, but. Um,
Yeah, but we will add it to the stack there. Why not? 58 out of 79, true base for the Flyers and Cotahot. All right. So that was box six, or excuse me, yeah, six, and no Hawks on that one either. Okay, on to box number seven. We got 52 on the sticker, 52 on the sticker, and 26 on the box. That's the right side. Empty box. It's box number seven. Number seven. 26 on the box and 52 on the sticker. So yours is coming up here in a couple more here, Mark. So don't worry, buddy. I will let you know when that's happening. Jeez, you guys are just so full of questions. Number seven is going to Mr. Caleb Lendy once again. I think this will be his. This will be his last box for Chicago. So. Um, yeah, so number seven is going to Caleb Lendy. So let's see what we get. To, uh, to start off, we have 31 out of 225, Bo Horvat for the New York Islanders, an all-star edition, or you want to say the all-star version, going to the Islanders. Mr. Bo Horvat. I'll go ahead and do this one next. Banner a year from the his rookie draft, I do imagine, for the Colorado Avalanche. Colorado is going to BP. We got a little Kale McCarr. Of course, this is more of a fabric piece. That's not the vinyl, so that's kind of uh, what I was more expecting with the earlier ones. But but this is a draft uh, from Chicago, it looks like, for Kale McCarr, Banner Year. Going to the Avalanche, and again, going to uh, Mr. BP. That guy all sleeved up. Mr. Kale McCaw. There you go. Banner year for the Avalanche. And again, since I'm running stuff earlier today, I'll be able to probably post the spam up uh, today and everything too. Uh, well, obviously, once we're done with everything. So, again, so I'll, I'll run the, uh, the, the giveaway and stuff once we're done. I'll get all the names loaded up and whatnot. And then, um, you know, I'll run that and then I'll, I'll worry about posting up the spam afterwards. So. Next up, for the Boston Bruins, we got another banner year here for the Winter Classic in Boston. We got Mr. Hampus Lindholm. Hampus Lindholm, banner year for the Boston Bruins. And we'll get this all sleeved up. Going to the Bruins. Very nice. So we got, uh, I think we got three cards left. So let's see what we got. Next up, next up. Another one here for the Boston Bruins. Why not? Jeremy Swayman patch piece. So there you go. Another one there for you sleepers. Not doing too bad so far. We got uh, Jeremy Swayman here.
Let's go ahead and get this bad boy all sleeved up and ready to rock and roll. So there you go, a little Jeremy Swayman here for the Boston Bruins jersey piece. Congrats to Sleeps in Boston. And let's see, what do we got next? Another RPA here, again, going to Toronto. So there you go, Mario. Your, uh, your first time or luck is running wild like Hulkamania, buddy. Bobby McMahon, 144 out of 149 for the Toronto Maple Leafs RPA. So there you go. Very nice. Another solid hit there for, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Again, I'm not, I'm not normally surprised when, again, first timers come into the breaks and do well. That's just how the breaks seem to work. They just know, hey, he's a first timer. We need to like give him a little taste of it. You really got to put the hook in him. And then, then you got him at that point, you know, upper deck just got you, you know, by the boo-boo. So, <laughs> 144 out of 149, authentic rookie patch auto. From Bobby McMahon and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Take that Mr. Kata hot. Put that bad boy up in the background. All right, what do we got here? We got our last hit of the pack. Box number seven. Authentic rookies. Another one here for the, uh, so we had two Boston and two Toronto out of the, out of the box, but another Matthew Nyes, uh, 217 out of 221. 217 out of 221 for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So there you go. So off to a great start for Toronto, no doubt. Toronto, I think, is kind of in the lead at the moment, I would say, just from a hit perspective. But, uh, again, we still got uh, 10 more boxes to go. So I think some folks' luck's, <clears throat> luck could change. On to box number eight. And uh, number eight... Is going to none other than our buddy G Unit himself, the Gramsters. Yes, the Gramsters. So, so there you go. But uh, we have 28 on the sticker, everybody. 28 on the sticker and 20 on the box. So, yes, good luck, Graham. And uh, let's see if we can't get some Chicago going. We've only had the Gutman Auto so far. So. Obviously, we'd love to see Mr. Bedard show up. This is box number eight. Number eight. 28 on the sticker. 20 on the box. So this is you know, box number eight, though. So we've got another uh, thick one in there. So we'll see what we got. Is in that right uh, auto position, so at least I think it is. Ooh, I could be wrong. But, <clears throat> Let's see what we get. So again, best of luck to everybody, and again, good luck to uh, Graham and Chicago on this one. And first one up, for authentic rookies for the Calgary Flames. Um, I'm not, again, I could probably say this name probably completely wrong, but it looks like Walker Dewar, Dewar, Dewar. I don't know, but going to the Flames, 23 out of 226. I'm going to say it's Dewar, Walker Dewar. He's not just a Walker, he's also a Dewar, folks, absolutely. So... Get that bad boy sleeved up. Oops. 
Don't want to give away that game just yet. But there you go for the Flames. All right, we're going to skip down to the bottom here. And we have a uh, bit of a repeat card here. We have another, uh, well, maybe not. I think we actually had something that was like, I think it was uh, a little bit different than this. But we have another Hampus Lindholm here. Winter Classic Fabrics for the Boston Bruins. Campus Lindholm. Yeah, let's see what we got next. For the Winnipeg Jets, so Winnipeg is going to Sean. We have Josh Morrissey, uh, Jersey Patch piece here. Going to the Jets and Josh Morrissey. There you go, Sean. Add that one to your pile. Josh Morrissey. And let's see, what do we got next? I think actually it's another card there, so my bad. For the Coyotes, we have Authentic Rookies Auto, Milo's Kellerman. Well, hey, you got another one here, buddy. Milos Kellerman for the uh, Arizona Coyotes. Authentic rookie auto. So, came back at the right time, yes. And you, you did get the Dylan Gunther uh, DDM, so that was a very nice hit as well. Like I said, the breaks will come back around for you at some point. So... But, uh, there you go, Milos Kellerman. For the Yotes. I'm going to take down Mr. Zubov. Okay, and I think it... No, it's not a... Okay, well... Oh, wow. That's a definitely a low-numbered uh, base there. Two out of five. So that is a very super short print base here going to the Buffalo Sabres. We have Zach Benson, two out of five. I know it's kind of hard to see because, again, I, again, I apologize for the focus and stuff. Like I said, I will be working on that to uh, get that figured out for the next uh, break. But two out of five, though, going to the Buffalo Sabres and Zach Benson. Take down Savoy. I'll put him up in the background. I said it's a pretty low numbered hit. Again, I know it's base, but you know, whatever. And now we got Thickum. We got Thickum here. I think it goes like uh, it goes like this. So best of luck, folks. What do we got? Well, maybe not. Oh, Stadium series. Fabric, so it should be hopefully a nice patch piece. Here, be um, be my guess. Wow, that is a very nice patch piece. Just Barry caught Kenny Emmy, thirty four out of thirty five, going to uh, DV again. Like I said, I like the patch piece there. Obviously, part of the uh, the uh, the warning logo, or you want to call it there for the Hurricanes or whatever the Hurricane logo. So, but very nice. Though. I like that. Very sharp. Nice two-color patch and everything there, but still very nice. 34 out of 35 going to the Canes and DV. I'll take down Mr. Kellerman. He didn't last too long, but it's okay. So very nice. 
back is starting to uh, fill out a little bit now. We're starting to get some more hits and stuff up on there. So scoop the boxes down just a wee little bit. On to box number nine. This is the halfway point. We have nine more to go after this. And then we got Mr. Mark. Mark, buddy, this is your box. Yes, and then after that, it'll be Car Bomb's turn. It'll be the Car Bomb's turn. But first up, we got Mark. Number nine. Obviously, we have a little Rick Nash number on the sticker, so maybe that's good for you there, Ryan. I don't know. 61 on the sticker. 97 on the box. 61 on the sticker, 97 in the box, little Nash McDavid, the old Nash McDavid box. So, 61 on that sticker, and then we got 97 on the box. What are we going to get, everybody? I don't know. Let's find out. Does not look like we have any thick ones in here. As you can see. Empty pack. All right, everybody. What do we got next? Let's see. Let's see. And for the <clears throat> excuse me, Anaheim Ducks, we got one sixty one out of two twenty two. Trevor Zegras, one sixty one out of two twenty two for the Anaheim Ducks. Again, that is going to uh, Ken. Trevor Zegris. Take a little quick peek. All right, I think we can go ahead and go with this. Looks like it's just a jersey piece. But there you go. Another one here for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Matthew Nyes, new grooves, jersey piece going to the uh, Maple Leafs, obviously, once again. So it's definitely been a Nyes kind of box or case, I should say, so far. He's been just about everywhere. There you go for the Maple Leafs. Once again, we got a little Matthew Nye's new grooves patch piece. Let's go ahead and skip down. We're going to skip down. And we got our first mascot fabrics going to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Why not? A little iceberg. Why not? All-star from South Florida. Very cool. Again, I know the, the mascot cards are kind of fun throw-ins and stuff in here. So, But uh, kind of interesting, though, going to the Pittsburgh Penguins. we got Iceberg Fabrics from the All-Star game. So, again, that one is going to Daruski. Very nice. Going to the Penguins, though. Iceberg Mascot Fabrics. So, congrats there to Pittsburgh. <clears throat> and like I said, you know they're going to be hitting, folks. Those Islanders, those pesky, pesky Islanders. They just always hit, folks. Arnaud Drendo. Authentic rookie jersey piece. For the Islanders, Anad Drendo. Going to them silly little Islanders. And 
You know, I ask my same I ask the same question to myself every night, Jan. I'm just like, who is Milo or Milo's Kellerman? So I just it's just one of those great mysteries in life that I don't know if I'll ever have that ever answered, but so I think, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and skip up to the top. So I think that back one's the auto. Well, we got ourselves another Chicago hit here. But unfortunately, it is not Bedard. But it is a true base rookie, though, going to the Hawks, Wyatt Kaiser. 21 of 44. So there you go, Mark. 21 of 44, Wyatt Kaiser, true base rookie for the Chicago Blackhawks. So this is our second Blackhawks hit of the case. 21 of 44. And it doesn't, I mean, the, the one thing I guess it is like, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, you guys don't have to tell him if it's on mute because I said I could tell him, but he ain't going to hear it. But uh, we're on number nine. There you go. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 21 of 44, the Wyatt Kaiser for the Chicago Blackhawks, though. So, uh, but congrats to uh, Mark. Hey, you know, you got yourself a Blackhawks uh, card again. So very cool. Let me mark that down real quick. Kaiser. True base. Rookie. Cool. Marked it down. Now it's time for the opto. Authentic rookies autograph. Who are we going to? Who are we going to? And another one for the Yotes. Good Lord. Michael Kesselring for the Yotes Authentic Rookies Auto going to the Yotes. So kind of getting the feeling that upper deck uh, probably should hit the shuffle button a few more times because we're seeing a lot of the uh, a lot of the same teams, unfortunately. So again, that's unfortunately out of my hands, but uh, it is the first half, so you never know. So maybe the maybe the uh, the second half will be <laughs> will be different teams, but it's one thing I'll say definitely. Um, Definitely seems like the first half so far, we've seen a lot of the same teams getting hits and stuff. So, but there you go. Michael Kesselring, authentic rookie auto for the Yotes. Okie dokie, everybody. It is time for box number 10. Oh, this is a heavy box. I don't know, Casey. I don't know, Casey. Your luck's been on a rampage, I've noticed lately, so maybe. You never know. But it is time for box number 10. And box 10, like I said, is going to Mr. Car Bomb Casey. He knows no limits, folks. That is true. <laughs> just... Oh, you bastard. I just keep thinking, like, man, make those titties fun. <laughs> like... Oh man, classic, classic line. I'll tell you what, you you scored a 10 on that one, buddy. That was just <laughs> oh, anyways, so that made me laugh. It really did. I yeah. It, I uh, I <laughs> I just remember reading that. I just I couldn't stop laughing. I was just like <laughs> Oh, you bastard. You make me laugh. Anyways. <laughs> Box number 10 though. <laughs> Box number 10, though, it is uh, going to Casey for the, the uh, Hawks. But uh, we have 45 on the sticker and 21 on the box. Yeah, it should be a thick one in there. It looks pretty thick to me. But uh, there we go. We got 45 on that sticker, and then we got 21 on the box. Let's see what we get. Ooh, we got a thick one in there. Yes, sir, we do. And let's see that back team there. That could be always good. There you go. Empty pack. 
Let's go, everybody. Let's see what we get up first. Well, we're going to just keep this trend continuing, I suppose. For the Toronto Maple Leafs, we have Doug Gilmore uh, throwback here. 167 out of 260, Doug Gilmore for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Again, uh, you know... Uh, just it's always it always amazes me. I mean, not really, but like it just it's just interesting how it just seems like just it it it, it, like, it doesn't matter what breaker you get. It just if it's your first time with a breaker, most likely there's going to be a good chance you're going to be hitting something, you know, something good. So, but Doug Gilmore for the Maple Leafs. So I just want to make sure we don't have the auto, and we don't. We have 100 out of 121. We have uh, the gold authentic rookie for the guy that's not only a walker, he is a doer. That's true, walker doer. 100 out of 121, the gold authentic rookies going to the flames. Yes, this is box number 10, number 10, number 10. Let's go to the back of this one, though. Uh-oh, I see some CBJ. Another Johnny Gaudreau banner year going to the Columbus Blue Jackets from the Global Series in Finland. Johnny Gaudreau, CBJ, banner year. And that's why I'm holding hope out there for you, Ryan, because obviously uh, we are still seeing some jackets hits, so you just never know. You could be seeing some Fantilly. It's Fantilly somewhere. So I'm holding out some hope for you. But there you go, Johnny Gaudreau banner year. And it does look like we have a deep cuts up next. For the Dallas Stars, going to Miss Nikki Yeeha. Yeeha. We got 75 out of 250. Matt Murray. I do believe this is a rookie deep cut for the Dallas Stars. 75 out of 250 going to the Dallas Stars and going to Nikki. So there you go. We got a few, uh, few stars hits, I think, so far. Not too bad. I think this is going to go on this one. It does. But there you go for the Dallas Stars. Matt Murray. Deep cuts. Let's see what we got. Well, it looks like we got some uh, Edmonton Oiler here. And for the Edmonton Oilers, we got Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Jersey Peace. And Edmonton's going to Santa. Obviously, would love to see. Uh, I'm, still, I'm still holding out hope someday, some wonderful, beautiful day, I'll, I'll see that Mr. Wayne Gretzky autograph in one of these packs at some point. So I still keep that flame alive, folks, and that flame will burn until it happens. But there you go, a little Ryan Nugent Hopkins, though, going to uh, Santa. This first hit for the Edmonton Oilers. So, again, I think, uh, I mean, could be always a good sign, you know, getting that first one. So, and it's time, folks. We got the uh, the thickum left. So, let's see what we got. Authentic Rookies. Well, 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 I'm seeing a yellow helmet, and there's only too many teams with a yellow on their helmet. I'm going to go on a, on, a, on a limb here and say it's for the Predators. But let's see what we got. I 
And it is 24 out of 25 premium patch piece. Obviously, you got three colors there. You can kind of see it up in the corner a little bit. You got a little bit of that yellow, blue, and white. So three color patch piece for Luke Evangelista. Going to the Nashville Predators. So there's another one there for you, Mike, buddy. Another nice, uh, nice hit. Again, nice little patch piece in there for you. Obviously, it comes with some uh, with some frayed strings and stuff. So hey, it adds a little bit of character to the card. Why not? And we'll take down Mister Fenisev. Fenisev. Put him up. That Dar, he's just doing great things. I tell you what, he's always so helpful, you know, super helpful all the time. You know, I gave him a shout out earlier when I started the break. I said, you know what? Hey, if it wasn't for Darsky, we wouldn't have these cases. So, again, I always thank you very much, buddy, for that. And then look at him. He's just, he's like, you know what? Hey, you know what? I think your price was too high. Let me put a decimal de decimal point in there for you. Boom. That's just the kind of guy he is. He just keeps it real, folks. That's why we like Dar. He just keeps it real. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, mark that down. I don't think we had any Chicago in that box. This is box number 11. That you are, my friend, that you are. And, uh, yes, this is box 11. This is for Mr. TB Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike. This one is for you. 36 on the sticker. 66 on the box. So we have matching sixes. 36. 66. 36. 66. All right. Enough of that nonsense. Thirty-six, sixty-six. Let's see what we got. I'm not seeing anything thick in here. You can see nothing, uh, nothing of the thick card nature. All right, everybody, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got first? We have gold here for the Anaheim Ducks. There's gold in them hills. John Gibson, 88 out of 111, going to the Anaheim Ducks gold base. And that one is going to Ken. Need to open a new pack of top loaders. One second. Let me open the new pack up. He's been on a roll so far in this break. So let's add a little bit more to it. We got new grooves. Patch piece for the Arizona Coyotes. Logan Cooley. The Cooley customer himself going to the Yotes and uh, going to Jam. So there you go. There you go, little Logan Cooley for the Yotes. We'll skip down to the back here. And we have another expansion draft year. Again, the first one was Yanni Gord. This one is Brandon Tanev. Going to the Kraken. Going to our buddy, Phil. That filthy crack hit him. But, uh... 
You know, Brandon Tanev, banner year for the Kraken. And let's see what we got next up. For the Buffalo Sabres, authentic rookies, jersey piece here, Lucas Rusick. Rousick. Lucas Rousick. Going to the Sabres. Let's get this guy sleeved up. For the Sabres. Do we have two autographs in here? Maybe. Well, this is the first one. Very nice. Going to the Ducks. Nikita Nestorenko. Authentic rookie autograph. Going to the Ducks and going to uh, Ken. So, again, the Ducks are doing pretty good for you tonight. Let's get this guy all sleeved up. Nikita Nestorenko. Going to the Ducks. So very nice. And we got, like I said, I do believe we might have one more auto in here. It does look to be that way, possibly. Another authentic rookies. Let's see who we got. For the Montreal Canadiens, we got Owen Beck. So, again, a double auto box there. Nestor Ranko for the Ducks, and now Owen Beck for the Montreal Canadiens. And, the, obviously, the Canadiens are going to Will. All Owen Beck. Okay. And that was box number 11, I do believe. On to box number 12. And this one is for Casey once again. So, Car Bomb, this is your second box. Best of luck. We have 21 on the sticker, 47 on the box. 21 on the sticker, 47 on the box. And uh, to be clear, I did, I do, um, I do have a few extra boxes, uh, loose boxes I was able to get um, that I'll be putting in um, some kind of smaller, cheaper mixer breaks for SP, uh, like game use and stuff. I'll be mixing them, I think, with a few of the boxes of uh, Parker's Champions that I have and kind of do some maybe some cheaper breaks and stuff over the, uh, you know, the next couple of weeks and stuff. Just post up some, you know, just some cheap, uh, like $10, $20 breaks and stuff. And uh, so... We'll get a few more chances at uh, SP game used here as well after this case. Right, well, we got a thick one here. So we got one fatty patty in there. Doki, let's go ahead and see what we got. Hey, there you go, uh, Rory. We're beating the odds here a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's not autograph, but still, we got Mr. Joe Thornton for the San Jose Sharks, 73 out of 244. And that is going to Rory and the Sharks. So we got a little, uh, a little bit of the beard there. The beard is back, everybody. Okay, one, 
to Mr. Rory again. Go to his uh, Thornton collection, his his burgeoning uh, Thornton collection. It just it just bursting at the seams any uh, nowadays, but it's the way he likes it. Let's work from the back now, everybody. For the Detroit Red Wings, we got new grooves. Marco Casper going to the Detroit Red Wings new grooves jersey patch piece there. Marco Casper. And let's see what we got next. For the New York Rangers, we got Mika Zabenejad jersey piece. Mika Zabenejad jersey piece for the New York Rangers. That is going to Sean, I do believe. There you go, Mr. Mika Mika. Let's see. What's next? What do we got next? For the Columbus Blue Jackets, we got a vet auto here. We got Captain Boone Jenner going to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Mr. Boone Jenner auto going to the Columbus Blue Jackets. So again, that could mean uh, good things there for you. If we keep seeing some more blue jackets. Good, I'm I'm all with you here, Ryan. I'd love to see some Fantilli show up. See Fantilli get silly. But there you go, a little Boone and Jenner for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Boom, Jenner Auto. So there you go. And we got one more to go before the thick one here. And we got for the Washington Capitals, 41 out of 104. We got the gold all-star here going to the uh, Caps, as I said, going to Graham. We got the great eight himself, little Alex Ovechkin. Going to the caps. Mr. Ovechkin. And now it's time for that thick one here. Again, I'm guessing it's going to probably be, it's, I guess it's probably, it's going to look, it looks like it's a fabric card would be my guess. Just be my guess. Yep, there you go. NHL Stadium Series. Fabrics, yes. What do we got? For the Washington Capitals as well, 27 out of 35, we got Tom Wilson. Again, we got some a uh, little bit of that uh, frame there, what we want, but it uh, looks like it's a piece of um, part of the uh, the eagle there or whatever, that, that logo or whatever they got. So very nice. And kind of a bit of that frame though on the string, but. Going to Tom Wilson and the Capitals. We got Stadium Series Fabrics. Going to open another pack of top loaders. Emmy, put Mr. Wilson up in the background. All right, so another non Chicago box, unfortunately. Chicago is very quiet in this case so far. All right, on to box number 13. 
Number 13, we got 48 on the sticker and 57 on the box. 48 on the sticker, 57 on the box. And box 11, or excuse me, box uh, 13, my bad, not 11. Box 13 is going to Miss Izzy pack a day. So best of luck to you, Izzy. And that's a pretty thick pack there. So we, uh, you know, have to wait and see what we get. But empty box once again. Yeah, there's a whole, yeah, there's definitely a thick one in there for sure. Like that's a big one. Could be, uh, I don't know, but definitely a thick one though, right there in the middle. That's for show. Sure. Pack. Yeah, we got the right direction here. And the first devils of the case so far, we have Timo Meyer, 118 out of 227. The red base going to the Devils, Timo Meyer. <clears throat> so let's see if we can't change the luck for the Devils a little bit now that we've hit the first one. Now that we got the first one out of the way, let's see if we can't go for Muir. Mr. Timo Meyer. Okay, and then next up for the Nashville Predators, we got SP rookie debut game used Jaroslav Askarov. 320 out of 499 going to the Predators. So there you go, going to the Nashville Preds. Reds have done pretty good in this case so far, I think. Can't be too upset with the results so far for him. Askarov, SP rookie debut, 320 out of 499. Going to Mike and the Preds. Now let's start from the back. Let's see what we got. We have a banner year stadium series piece for the Canes, Sebastian Ajo. Stadium series patch piece, banner year, going to the Canes and going to the stack father himself. Yes, yes, I know I said it. it is going to Mr. DV. So there we go, a little Sebastian Ajo banner year. See what's next. What's next for the Dallas Stars? We got another rookie sweaters here, Matt Murray. Rookie sweaters, Matt Murray for the Dallas Stars, and this one is obviously going to Miss Nikki Yeehaw. So another one there for Dallas for you. Dallas isn't doing uh, isn't doing too bad. Definitely get some hits for him, so that's always a good. Good sign. There you go, rookie sweater, Matt Murray. Let's see what we got next, everyone. Tevu Taravainen, another one for the Canes here. Canes patch, ah, Canes patch piece. Going to Turbo and the Canes, and obviously, once again, going to the Stack Father. Get this bad boy sleeved up. Mr. Tebu Teravinen for the Canes. And now we got this big dude. I don't know what it is, but 
Looks like it could be uh, could be special. So let's see. It goes like this, I do believe. All right. Best of luck, everybody. Here we go. What do we got? Ooh, it's a net cord. There we go. We got a net cord from the uh, 2023 All-Star Skills Competition. So maybe it actually goes like this. And there you go. One of five for the Boston Bruins. Linus Olmark. Sleepers, my friend. You are just full of uh, full of that luck, my buddy. I don't know. One out of five, though. Net cord for the Boston Bruins, Linus Olmark. Goodness gracious, everybody. That is a, quite a hit there, going to the Bruins and Sleepers. Goodness gracious, I tell you. We have to... Uh, Widen that up just a little bit more to see if I can get it in there. Maybe not. Ooh, yeah, I'm not going to force it in there, unfortunately. So I'll just, I'll, uh, I'll wait to sleeve this up, I guess. So, so this was out of five. So we'll take this guy. We'll put him up. Well, Adjust the stand real fast. But, uh, very nice net cord. Going to Zabruins. Again, Boston's had a pretty good break so far as well. So, you know, let's go ahead and mark that down. Let's Yep, so we have five boxes left to go. And this one is box number 14. And uh, oddly enough, it is going to sleepers. So, uh, you know, maybe his luck will uh, be all about the Bedard. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. We got 53 on the sticker. 92 on the box. 53 on the sticker. 92 on the box. Of course, that's a pretty thin pack, so I don't think we got a net cord in this one, but there you go, 92 on the box, 53 on the sticker. right there. So the last four boxes right there in the back. Again, that's going in the uh, number that they should be. So first up for box number 14, we got Arthur Kaliev, 24 out of 117, excuse me, 117 gold uh, base for the Kings. Arthur Kaliev. Let's see what we got. That's it. I didn't think that was going to be the auto. But uh, next up, we got Rasmus Dahlin. 112 out of 118 gold base for the Buffalo Sabres. Mr. 
dialing in the Sabres gold base. Let's jump to the back of the pack. And for the San Jose Sharks, we got another uh, Fabrics piece here. Nick Bonino. Jersey piece for the San Jose Sharks. Uh, I need to open another pack of top loaders. Top loaders. Nick Bonino for the San Jose Sharks. Let's see what's next. Got our next rookie sweaters here again for the Islanders as well. Arnaud Darendo. Going to the Islanders rookie sweaters here again. This is going to Izzy Zazazigris. Zazazigris. go Arnaud Drendo rookie sweaters very nice very nice going to the Islanders again the Islanders do well I'm, I'm, I'm a little surprised don't get me wrong I'm a little surprised the Senators have been absolutely dead quiet in this case because that normally is not the case with Senators normally they hit something or other or whatever but you know every now and then I will say every now and then there are breaks where they they just quiet they don't happen but you know most of the time the senators are probably them and the islanders i feel like probably like the safest bets to uh, to take teams on and obviously with the islanders you're seeing that right now but um you know so what do we got next there we go i was just talking about them why not so for the ottawa senators finally why not brady kachuk uh Jersey piece here going to Ottawa All Star Game uh, Jersey piece here. So speak of the devil. So let's see. I just said that. So, so man, Bedard's never showed up at all in this case yet. So <laughs> you know, I'd see if that works. You know, Bedard just hasn't been showing up, man. I don't know. I don't know if he's ever going to show up in this case. I don't even. He's, he's dead quiet. You know, dead quiet. So there you go, Brady Kachuk patch piece, a little jersey piece there. Well, again, I mean, it's the first hit, so again, hopefully we still got four boxes left. So again, you never know, it could uh, still be leading to some other hits as well for you. So we'll have to wait and see. But okie dokie, everybody. I just seem like a lot of hair, it looks like right now. Ooh, a legend. For the Canadians, very interesting. We got a little Larry Robinson. I saw that little Legends there. I was like, all right, because all I see was just a bunch of hair, and I'm like, I don't know what this is. What is this? But there you go. Going for the Montreal Canadiens. Not a bad little hit here. Larry Robinson. Robinson, excuse me. So very nice, and that is going to Will. So there you go, Will. I do like I do like when they have products like this when they include Hall of Famers and legends and stuff because not only does it I mean it it, it, it adds you know what I'm saying because there's obviously legends like Yager and Gretzky and you know Lemieux and I mean those are big hits as well but it it, it adds to team checklists you know so again you know you have a team like the Flames you know they might not necessarily have like the well but this year they have good rookies but they might not necessarily have the best rookies but you know you add you know again like you know, guys like a Ginla and stuff, and it's like, okay, you know, I I, I can kind of get behind that. So, but yeah, there you go, Larry Robbins Robinson, excuse me, going to the Canadians, a little Legends Auto here, going uh, going to Will and the the Habs. So, very nice. But again, no Blackhawks. So far, no one's been excluded from our giveaway. So, okay, now this one's got some weight to it. I don't know what's in here, but I didn't. This one's got a little bit of weight to it. So we'll have to see and find out about this one. Yeah, fifty-three on the sticker. 
Ooh, a 93 on the box. So we got 53, 93, 53, 93. Matching threes. You know I love my matching numbers on my boxes. So let's see what we get. There's a kind of a fatter pack. Imagine at least there's at least a fatty in there, I'm imagining. But I don't know if it's a net cord fatty, but I uh, should hopefully have a nice uh, patch in there or something. But 53, 93. This here is box number 15. This one's also going to sleepers. He had 14 and 15. So we will see what we can do. There's a couple thick ones in here, folks. We got a couple fatty patties. Oh, never mind. I thought that was a big one. Nope. So we just got one. I thought there was another one in there. Nope. But just the one. Empty pack. I was going to say, I thought, uh, thought we had a second fat one in there, but nope. But that's okay. We got one. We'll see what we get, though, here momentarily. Best of luck, everybody. Again, this is a Sleep's Box. Looks like we do got another Blackhawk here. So we got our next Blackhawk hit. Again, Boris Kachuk. 28 out of 225 red base here going to the Blackhawks, Boris Kachuk. Again, that's going to uh, Sleepers there. Let's get this guy sleeved up. So, there you go. One thing I will say I like about this product is, I mean, it is a single pack, but pretty much everything is going to get sleeved. So when I get ready to, uh, whenever I get around to get things ready to ship out, it'll be a lot easier for me because then it's just like just sort them out real quick. Everything's already sleeved up, put some tape and stuff, you know, seal them in a bag, make sure they're nice and safe for you guys, and then boom, out the door they go for you. So I do like it when it uh, works out that way. Take, take a quick uh, little peek here. All right. Next up, we got New Grooves. Marco Casper, New Grooves for the Detroit Red Wings. 184 out of 199. I'm going to Detroit and going to Izzy Packaday. We got Zaza and we got Pad. And this one is going to Izzy Pad. Little Marco Casper. I think she's uh, definitely into uh, the Evanson and Caspers, you know, the, the young core of Detroit. So looking forward to uh, hitting that stuff for her. Let's go to the back. What do we got? Hey, we got our next mascot fabric card going to the Hurricanes. We got a little Stormy. So we had Iceberg initially. Now we got some Stormy. So this one's going to Dan Vincent as well. So there you go, Stack Father. Again, like I said, I think the mascot hits are kind of fun. Nothing crazy, but they're always, I think they're just kind of fun. But there you go, Stormy. Mascot fabrics for the Hurricanes. Congrats there to Dan Vincent. Let's see what we got next. What's next? And what did I tell you? Another one here for the Senators. New Grooves jersey piece. Ridley Gregg. So there you go. I told you. It's just sometimes you just got to get that first one out of the way. And then a lot of times you'll, you'll can get at least a – you can maybe net a few extra ones, uh, you know. And, again, I've seen it to where, like, teams are absolutely quiet to, like, the last, like, two boxes. And then it's like boom, boom, boom. They'll get, like, three hits or something, you know. But there you go. Ridley Gregg, new grooves for the Senators. You know what? I'll say this. At least it's not Mark Kostelik, right? You know, come on now. Am I right? Am I right? I'm, I know. I know. At least it's not Mr. Kostelik. I know. But but there you go, though. Hey, like I said, at least we got you. At least something extra there. Uh, again, we still got three more boxes to go, as you can see here in the back. So, again, we can uh, hopefully maybe add to a few more of your guys' piles and stuff like that. So, But uh, there you go. Ridley Gregg, new groups, jersey piece. Let's see. What is next? 
And another one for the Islanders, Matthew Barzell jersey piece. I think we've hit about the whole starting lineup for the Islanders tonight or today for the uh, the patch pieces here, the jersey pieces, Matthew Barzell. And this one's going to Izzy Zaza. Izzy Zaza Zegris. Don't say that. Damn it. Don't don't put that evil on me. I'm telling you, Mike. Please. <laughs> I'm begging you. Don't, don't make me do it. All right. I don't want to. All right. It is time. We got a thick one here, folks. So let's see what we got. Shall we? Let's see what we got. I'm guessing it's probably a nice patch piece here out of 25 would be my guess. Three out of 49. So that's not out of 25, but it's out of 49. So let's see what we got. And it's a nice RPA. And again, who's it going to? Well, none other than those Islanders. Arnaud Durando, 3 out of 49. Again, it's a nice patch. I'll give it that much. It's definitely a nice patch. I like the orange and the blue and stuff there. So, you know, I'll definitely agree with that, uh, Mark. That's a very, uh, very true assessment. So, but a very nice premium RPA patch piece here, 3 out of 49. And again, going to the Islanders. Again, a team... That uh, no one wanted. They were just a, they were just a, just a lonely dog in the window, just wanting someone just to love them, and uh, you know, no, and no one wanted to. And then uh, you know, Izzy, Izzy kind of had the uh, you know, she kind of had the uh, the I guess the fortune now, if you're looking at it, to uh, to get them. So. Three out of 49 for the Islanders. A nice uh, rookie patch auto here. Going to the Isles. Three out of 49. Yeah, I'll take down Mr. Bobby McMahon. He's been up there for a minute. Get him up there. Okay, folks. So we did have the... Uh, what is that? Kachuk. Red base in that box. Next up, box 16. And this one is going to Will. So we have Will, then we got Dar, and then we got Sean for the final three of Chicago. So Will, Dar, and Sean. Let's see what we get, everybody. We have 44 on the sticker. 44 on the sticker and 51 on the box. 44 and 51. Doki, then everybody. Let's see what we got for the Minnesota Wild. Starting us off, we got Krill Kaprizov, 159 out of 226 All Star Red Base, going to the Wild. And the Wild have been uh, they you know came out in the first box, you hit the Faber uh, jersey piece, but then they've been quiet ever since. So. We'll see if we can't get them kick started just a little bit in the right direction. But going to Kaprizov in the Minnesota Wild. Next up, we got a gold base here. 
for the Blues, Keith Kachuk, 35 out of 190. Keith Kachuk, 35 out of 190 gold base for the Blues. Let's get this guy sleeved up. There you go. Let's skip down to the back. What do we got here? For the Washington Capitals, we have Stadium Series Fabrics. We have Dylan Strome. Dylan Strome. Let's go ahead and get this guy sleeved up. Let's go ahead and... There you go, Dylan Strome, Stadium Series Fabrics. Going to the Capitals and our buddy Graham. I think we got a uh, one of the deep cuts up next. For the Calgary Flames, there you go, Matthew Coronado. Almost jersey numbered. He's 39. This is 36 out of 250 deep cuts for the Calgary Flames, Matthew Coronado. Going to Calgary. Let's get this guy sleeved up and tucked away. Go to your home. That's your home. There you go. 36 out of 250. Matthew Coronado deep cuts for the Calgary Flames. Let's see what we got next. For the Boston Bruins, David Pasternak, all-star jersey piece. For the Bruins, David Pasternak. Get this guy sleeved up proper. There you go. David Pasta Pasternak going to the Bruins. Here's a piece. And the last hit of box number 16. Two left after this. Find out. Well, there you go. How about that for the Senators? It's not a uh, rookie, but it's still a uh, patch auto going to the Senators. Jake Sanderson, 87 out of 99. So what did I tell you? Sometimes you just got to be patient and hang in there, folks. Sometimes you just got to hang in, folks. And I tell you, but there you go. Bang, little Jake Sanderson again. Close to being jersey number as well, 87. He's 85. but. Uh, 87 out of 99, Jake Sanderson patch auto going to the Senators. So, again, there you go, Mike. You made it, buddy. We made it. We did it. <laughs> now, if only I could hit that fucking Bedard card. Only if only. Now, two boxes left to try to make it happen, at least out of this case. I got, I said, I still got, like I said, I still got, we got, I got about five extra loose boxes on me here. Again, those are all going to be going towards uh, some smaller, cheaper breaks I plan on doing. So obviously we will have a few more chances at, you know, maybe hitting a Bedard or something like that. So we'll have to wait and see, but 87 out of 99, little, uh, little Jake Sanderson here. So... And yeah, we'll take down Evangelista. He's just a patch, I guess. Okay. So there was no one that one. So, yes, it is now your turn, Dar. It is now your turn. Thirty-two on the sticker. Thirty-two on the sticker and O four on the box. Thirty-two, O four. Thirty-two, O four. And this box is for well, the Chicago is for you in this one there, Dar. So 
box. 32 and 04. So, but yeah, like I said, I've got a whole bunch of breaks planned over the next couple weeks, everybody. Um, just again, real quick before I, I'm going to make you wait just a second here, Dar. So, um, um, but I do got a whole bunch of breaks planned. Obviously, we have our, our 12 box mixer break for the 22 23 product series one, series two, extended, and then uh, boxes of uh, Parkhurst Champions. There'll be three boxes each of those. So, again, I'll make basically essentially a master case out of that. Again, it'll be a pretty cheap break, which is going to, I think, will be nice after, you know, having to really kind of push to get this one done. Um, so we'll, we'll probably look to doing that one possibly next. Uh, like I said, I got some extra boxes of SP game used 20 through 24 SP game used. And, um, again, I'll, I'll be kind of mixing those up. I'll probably be doing like maybe like two boxes and maybe a box of Parker's champion or something again, just to kind of keep it somewhat uh, cheaper sort of thing. So again, I'll, I'll be kind of dropping those like little 10, $20 breaks. I feel as well in there. Um, so we'll be doing that. And then again, like I said, I got a really good sweetheart deal. I mean, it's a sweetheart deal for a case of uh, 2223 SP Authentic. Again, SP Authentic has been a very good product for us. I love opening that stuff. Um, again, we've got a lot of really good cases out of there. I've had, you know, pretty much zero issue mostly opening that stuff. So uh, I got a really good deal on it. So again, I'm pretty sure when I post that up, uh, it'll be probably pick your team most likely. But again, I feel like the price point and everything for all you guys will probably really enjoy that. Hopefully we'll just eat that up and we'll break that shit, you know, look forward to it. And then again, uh, because black diamonds being and 20 through 20 black diamonds, pretty much a no go for us. Um, I did get another really good deal once again on a case of 2223 black diamond as well. So we'll be looking at uh, doing a case of that uh, also. But again, the price point for that will be so much better than it would be for 20 through 24. So again, that's, that's, again, that's, that's the, my main objective. My, my name of the game is trying to keep things again, affordable, reasonable. Like I said, it's no fun for me. If you guys are, you know, having to pay an arm and a leg and stuff, I hate charging big money for teams and things like that. So Again, if I can get good deals and stuff on cases, and especially if it's product that I know that we we'll, we enjoy, we like opening, then I'm definitely all for it at that point. So, so we got a whole bunch of breaks planned over here the next couple weeks. So again, lots to uh, lots to look forward to. No thickum in this one. So, empty pack. All right, Dar, this one is for you and Chicago. Best of luck, buddy. We'll see what we can do. Again, Chicago's been pretty quiet so far in the case, so we'll have to uh, wait and see. But first up to bat for the Winnipeg Jets, we got Mr. Connor Hellebuck, 82 out of three, or excuse me, 82 out of 230. All-star red base there for the Jets. Connor Hellebuck. Hellebuck. How big is that buck? That's a Hellebuck. Going to the Jets. 82 out of 230. Let's see. All right. I can't be too upset about that. Um, I'm sure, obviously, I'm sure you'd probably love to see this. I wish this was autographed for you, obviously, but still. Um, don't want to grab everything with that. But for the New Jersey Devils, New Grooves, Jersey Peace, Luke Hughes. So he is making a, at least a little appearance there for you there, Jason. So a uh, little Luke Hughes patch piece there, new grooves going to the uh, the Devils. So there you go. Like I said, I would have loved if it had just a little bit of ink on there. I think that would have been uh, pretty special. But again, just uh, having some uh, jersey piece and stuff. 
especially to just obviously just seeing how quiet they've been in the case, you know, so, but there you go. But the little Luke Hughes action, though, going to the, uh, the Devils and to you there, Jason. So let's go to the back of the uh, pack here. And we got this shithead here, Blech. him and PLD, Blech. Jeff Carter. Jersey fabric from the Winter Classic, Jeff Cotta. Sorry, but as soon as, he, as soon as he went to the Pittsburgh Penguins, I was like, that's like the perfect marriage of just evil. <laughs> it just, it's just like, you know, like I said, it's, it's, uh, I could just, I can see him. I always get the picture of when they, uh, when they formed the NWO, you know, Hogan kind of kneeled in front of Nash and Hall, and Nash and Hall are standing behind him. And I just think like Nash and Hall or Crosby and Malkin, and then Jeff Carter's Hulk Hogan. He's just like, <laughs> is he the third man? He's the third man. So, <laughs> a little WrestleMania uh, talk there, though, I guess, real quick. I mean, and even though it's WCW, but, you know. But yeah, when he joined, uh, when he joined the Pens, I was like, that's like the perfect marriage of just evil. <laughs> All right, folks, what do we got up next for the Philadelphia Flyers? We got Kevin Hayes. That is right, Bash at the Beach. Absolutely. Very nice. Very good call there, yes. What was that, 96, I think it was, 96, 97? I think it was 96, but, yep, Bash at the Beach show. Kevin Hayes, jersey patch piece for the Flyers. But yeah, I just anytime I think of uh, any anytime I think of uh, like I said Carter when he joined the uh, when he joined the Penguins, that's like the first thing I think of is just is he the third man? Is he the third man? And just see like you just see like Crosby and Malkin standing behind him, got their arms crossed, looking all mean and like trying to look badass and stuff. And he's just like, yeah, these are my guys. So. <laughs> it's just a perfect marriage. Like I said, I just I'm just just twisted evil vile shit so <laughs> Whew. all right folks what do we got up next everybody oh looks like we got a uh calgary flame uh-oh Ooh, there you go brian i know you had to wait for that one that's not a bad one mr Peltier. a little rpa for you there so see i'm not sending you home empty handed there brian i wasn't just gonna send you home with uh with the blake como base Come on now, buddy. You got to know me better than that. Jacob Beltier, little patch auto, 128 out of 149. Very nice, though. Very nice. I'm okay with that hit. So very nice. And congrats to the Flames. I know some of you guys had to kind of hang in there a little bit. And, uh, and like I said, wait for some of these guys to show up. But, uh, again, sometimes it's it just it's how it is. You know, sometimes you got to wait till, uh Wait till that very end, and then boom, and then boom, boom, boom. Take down Mr. Wilson. We'll put him up in the background. So there you go. But congrats there to the uh, the Flames. So what do we got here? Well, I see a blue jacket helmet. I don't know if that's good or not. Ooh, it's a number eleven. Hey, there you go. It's a Mr. Fantilli. I wish there was an autograph for you, though, uh, Mr. Ryan. But still, Adam Fantilli, SP rookie debut, 169 out of 499. So there you go. There you go, Ryan. Again, I said I wish it was the uh, the DDM for you, but but hey, little Fantilli in your package. Head in your way. Why not? Why not? Uh, what guy? Peltier or, or Fantilli? Fantilli. Love Fantilli. I'm all about the Fantilli. But, yeah, Peltier, I mean, he's pretty good from, I mean, what I understand about the Flames. I don't watch the Flames a ton. Pretty much for me, it's pretty much CB, It's pretty much CBJ or nothing for me, essentially. So that's just where my fandom lies. So. Even though it's been pretty much a, it's been a, been a struggle this year watching them, but you know I try to watch when I can. But uh, but yep, I'm definitely all uh, all CBJ all the way, folks. So 
But there you go, Mr. Ryan. A little bit of Fantilly showing up for you. I'm not too mad about that. Like I said, I would love to see some auto or uh, some ink or whatever, but I, I don't think he – I don't know if he actually signed anything in this product. I think all his stuff might be redemptions. But still, hey, not bad hit, though, going to the blue jackets. So – Apologies, though, to, uh, to your daughter. Unfortunately, no Blackhawks. And this is it. This is the final hit of the – or final hit. This is the final pack – or, uh, yeah, uh, box of the break, everybody. Box number 18. Uh, pretty good case. Again, I'm a little disappointed that, once again, uh, this is our second – well, not technically our second, but uh, this is um, – Kind of like I think our because we've we've opened at least one case of series one. We've opened one case of series two. Oh, no, we opened some Opeachy too, didn't we? We opened Opeachy as well. We didn't open any MVP. So this is kind of our I think our fourth case of twenty through twenty four, and uh, just been very very quiet. A lot of the cases, unfortunately, for uh, Bedard, which um, it's a little concerning, but you know. But uh, hopefully when he does decide to show up, it will show up in the, the biggest possible way. That's my hope. But, again, we still got five more boxes, as I stated. We still got five loose boxes of this. Uh, we'll be kind of putting in some smaller, cheaper breaks and stuff. So, again, we'll get a few more chances here soon to uh, maybe see some Bedard or, you know, maybe hit something of that nature. So, again, I would love to see that happen, at least for one of you guys. So, but this is it, folks. This is it for the break uh, today. Again, thank you guys, as always, for hanging out. Again, obviously, thank you guys for uh, just dragging this son bitch to the finish line and and getting it so we can get it uh, so we can get it broke and we can see and and you know get the hits and stuff. Again, I think it's uh, it was a fun case. Again, hopefully, we like to see. Like I said, I would have liked again. I would have seen. I would have liked a little more variety. Don't get me wrong. I do think that there were a lot of boxes with a lot of very similar teams and stuff in them. So I would have liked a little more variety on that end, but, um, but yeah, but I think it was a fun case though. Nonetheless, um, you know, again, with 20 through 24, it's just a hard product because again, the prices are just so ridiculous. I think this would have been a product I would have loved to, uh, you know, maybe even get a set, you know, normally I can get, you know, two cases, a lot of the, of a lot of the stuff, but you know, with 20 through 24, just being so just outrageously priced, it just, it just makes it harder for, you know, because again, it's just, you just got to just struggle just to get these things filled a lot of times. So, but, you know, but that's the way it goes again, again, you know, but uh, again, I always thank you guys as always for getting it done. Uh, like I said, I think we got some nice hits and stuff out of here for sure. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself. I will be, um, once I'm done with this, I will obviously uh, go off the uh, off the live here, and I will get the um, I'll get the uh, the uh, giveaway set up for our uh, our giveaway prizes and stuff like that. So I'll get that set up, and then obviously I'll go live. We're gonna go live on Twitter for that because obviously I'll need to use the uh, the random.org on the computer here. So I'll be going live for Twitter for that, and then again, obviously uh, top three. I'll let you guys choose your prizes sort of thing, or whatever you guys want to do. And again, um, so we'll do that as well. So that'll be after that. And then after I get that all done, after the giveaway stuff's all taken care of, I will work on getting the, uh, the spam and stuff pictures. I'll take all the pictures and everything like that, get all that stuff ready to go and then post it up in the room for you guys to, uh, to check out and everything. So, and then, yes, and then, like I said, next week, uh, I'll be giving you guys probably the next couple of days off, I'm sure, from from breaks and things like that. So, uh, again, we're not going to really worry about doing too much uh, over the next, like I said, probably like two days or so. So probably about Wednesday, I would say, expect um, would be would be when I'm going to probably be looking to post the, uh, like I said, I'd like to get the that 12-box mixer going, um, like I said. And the idea behind that will be it'll be $45 a spot. But there will be a two-spot deal where if, if you take two spots, it'll be $80. So you'll actually be knocking $10 off uh, the, the total then at that point. So I think that's a pretty good deal. You know, two teams for 80 bucks. Again, there'll be 12 boxes. So hopefully we'll see a nice big array of hits. And uh, again, hopefully we'll uh, we'll see some nice stuff out of there. And again, it won't be it won't be so uh, so heavy on the wallet and the purses and the, and, the, and all that. So 
So yes, yeah, so that'll be probably look for that about Wednesday. We'll be looking to unleash that some bitch. And again, that'll be most likely a random team break. Uh, again, just because, like I said, it's just I'll just keep it cheaper and everything. And and again, we'll see what we get. But so yeah, so probably Wednesday I'll be looking to drop that. That'll be probably when the next break will be coming around. Like I said, I'll give you guys the next few days just to kind of catch your breath. And and like I said, the, we won't worry about you know pushing cars and brakes and stuff like that. So. All righty dee 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 dee. We have 30 on the sticker, 78 on the box. 30 sticker, 78 box, 30 sticker. Let's see how we're going to finish this break, folks. Is it going to be legend? It's a little bit thicker pack, so we might have a thick one in there. We'd love to see one more DDM maybe come out of here. Empty box. We got 30 on the sticker and 78 on the box. And to be clear, this is the Sean T for Chicago box. So, Sean, buddy, this one is for you. And we do have a thick one in there. And it does, well, maybe not, I'll just say it looked like a DDM, but I don't know, I think it is a DDM, actually. So I think we are going to end on a DDM. So how about that, folks? Why not? Again, just what I, what I can tell. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks to be that way. All right, folks. Drum roll, please. All right, folks. Best of luck, everybody. This is the last box of break. 121 again thank you guys as always i do always appreciate you guys hanging out and again just uh let me do this for you love doing it for you you know means a lot to me so all right folks enough with the jibba jabba let's get this box going oh oh, oh. okay well <clears throat> all right well that could be good Maybe. I don't know. Could be. I don't know. But we got 130 out of 230. Ryan Strom for the Anaheim Ducks. Red base. 130 out of 231. Ryan Strom. I guess I did... I do think, because like I said, unfortunately that card kind of slipped a little bit, and I do think I seen at least the team. I don't know the player, but I think I saw the team for what that DDM is, and I think he might be pretty happy about it. So we'll have to wait and uh, wait and see who it is, though. But one thirty at a two thirty one, Dylan, or excuse me, not Dylan, Ryan Strom for the Ducks. And we got our next Blackhawk here. We have a gold uh, authentic rookies, Luke Phillip. Luke Phillip for the Blackhawks. 96 out of 123 gold for the Blackhawks. So, uh, make a little note of that. Okay. So there we go, Luke Phillip, gold for the Hawks, and that's going to Sean. Let's see, what we got going to the bottom here. We have for the Boston Bruins, we got NH or excuse me, uh, uh, Winter Classic Fabrics here, Nick Felino. Little Nicky Fliggs here going to the Bruins fabrics. There you go, little Nicky Felino there. We 
got the deep cut up next. For the Hurricanes, we got Jakob Slavin. 111 out of 250. 111 out of 250 deep cut, Jakob Slavin. Going to the Canes. Let's see what we got next. For the San Jose Sharks, we got Jersey Peace, Mario Ferraro. Going to the San Jose Sharks and going to Rory again. They were at least able to hit you at least a Thornton. I know it was just a base, but, you know. Still kind of got you in the right uh, the right ballpark there. It's the wrong size. There you go, a little Mario Ferraro for the Sharks jersey piece. And I do believe it is time. I don't think there's anything left. It's, this is the last hit of the break of the case the last hit of the box everything and there it is folks it is a draft day marks i do believe i saw the team so again i hope he's going to be hopefully it's a good player again i i don't know so we'll have to wait and see see what the uh the pick says i guess see what see what the draft position is but i do believe for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Yep, as you can see there, CBJ logo. Twenty twenty one NHL draft pick number sixty nine for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Does anybody know who sixty nine was in twenty twenty one? Very nice. Stanislav Svazel for the Columbus Blue Jackets. And you got the big Z there. Why not? Z, Zach, why not? 26 out of 35. Stanislav Svazel for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Draft day mark will end the break. So very nice. Again, I saw the Blue Jacket there at first. I was thinking like, oh, but I remember like, yeah, that's right. Fuck, Fantilli's in uh, Redemption. Shit. <laughs> but... But Spazzle's not bad. Again, I think I've I've heard a lot of good things about him and stuff like that. He's a good young player. So again, not a bad hit at all. Again, I know uh, I know Fantilli would have been better, and trust me, I would have been all about that too. But but not not bad at all. And again, you got the big Z going on there. So why not the big Z? But there you go, folks. I will take down Mr. Sanderson. I'll put him up in the background. And there it is, folks. There's your final seven in the background, everybody. <laughs> but very nice. Again, congrats to everybody as well. Again, I, you know, three very nice DDMs. I'm not disappointed with any of the three players that we hit. I thought they were good. Again, the net cord was really cool. The pasta patch is cool as well. You know, hit a lot of uh, at least a lot of nice, you know, good, uh, you know, uh, you know, kind of the the more basic, I guess, patch autos and stuff and things like that. And again, hit the, that one there as well. So, again, a fun case overall. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I am. Don't get me wrong. I'm also a little disappointed that no, uh, you know, no Bedard wanted to come out and play, unfortunately. But you know, that's just how that one's going to break. And again, that's why, and that's why I guess that's my problem with how they're pricing this stuff because. Normally, I always like getting two cases because I feel like, you know, you can always get one case. If he's not there, you'll get that second one. And then, like, boom, you know, you'll kind of be able to kind of make up a little bit for that as well. So, so it's a little disappointing, again, that the, the pricing for 23-24 is, is the way it is. But, you know, that is the way it is, unfortunately. So, 
But again, we're going to always play it by ear. We're going to always, you know, I'm, I'm going to do the best I can to try to get the cases and stuff and try to, you know, try to make them available so we can break some and, you know, have our chance at, um, you know, hitting some of this stuff. But, uh, but yeah, so, but again, hopefully you guys enjoyed today. I do thank you guys as always for hanging out and, and all that. And again, hopefully I had a, uh, you know, at least I hopefully I entertained you guys enough. So, but uh, like I said, though, but uh, uh, I will go, I'll, I'll be going off here, here in a minute. Once I do, I'll be um, getting things set up for the, the giveaway for all the Chicago folks. So again, uh, I'll see you guys back in the room at that point. Obviously I'll let you guys know when that's already set go. And then obviously we'll be uh, giving away some, some prizes. Actually, they're right here. I can actually I can show off a whole bunch of stuff real fast. Cause, boom! What did I tell you? We got five more of these bad boys to go. And uh, just so you know, actually, technically, I had six of these because one was for me. I always try to get one box that I can open for myself at least. And I opened that, and uh, I will be honest with you, I did uh, I did weigh these out, and I, I basically took the, the lightest one out of the group. So these ones are all the heavier ones and stuff. So uh, hopefully we have a few nice uh, few nice boxes in here as well. So, But uh, we got five more SP game use we're going to be opening, just to be clear about that. And then for you Chicago folks, again, I wanted to sweeten the deal because, again, I do I do realize that Bedard was going to be a long shot, and you just never know uh, how many, who, what, when, where it's going to happen. But uh, obviously I'm going to be giving away this bad boy, so uh, so whoever gets this, you might have a shot at getting the, uh, the Easter egg Bedard possibly out of there. I don't know. We have to wait and see, I guess. But uh, this is going to be up for uh, for a prize. We got this up for a prize as well, Parker's Champions. So that's always a fun one. And then, uh, like I said, for this uh, break spot, obviously this is the the break spot. I'm, the break I'm talking about, obviously, is the 12 box mixer break. So uh, if you get this, you'll get a free spot in that as well. Again, a $45 value. Uh, again, just a way of just saying thank you, and uh, again, just I was just hoping to sweeten up the pot just a little bit, uh, a little bit. So, yeah, yes, it is. Peltier RPA for you there, Brian. Peltier RPA. It all rhymes. One twenty eight to one forty nine, my man. Boom. So yes, we did you pretty good with the flame, sir. I'm just glad we hit that for you. So, but uh, yes. So, but again, thank you guys as always. Again, I I I, I always appreciate you guys uh, filling it up and and doing this and stuff. Again, I like it. You guys want to ride with me and everything. Um, so it is always a super big deal for me. You know, I try to do the best I can to try to give back to you guys and try to make sure I'm taking care of you guys and. Um, you know, again, just giving you guys the best pricing and stuff that I can do that I can I can give you guys and stuff like that. So um, because like I said, if, if, if you guys are having fun, if it's if it's just more or less a burden on you guys, it's not fun for me. I'm not having fun doing that. You know, so, you know, I'm on your side, guys. I'm, I'm a fan like you guys. I want to open these cards. I want to pull these big cards and hit this, this stuff for you guys. But, uh, you know, I do have my limits and stuff. And, you know, so. But uh, like I said, and uh, fortunately, like I said, we won't be really uh, worrying about any of the 23, 24 black diamond that's supposed to be coming out here in uh, about two weeks. But I do got a pretty good deal. Like I said, I got some really good deals on um, a case of 22, 23 black diamond. And I got a really good deal, a really, a really good deal on 22, 23 SP authentic. So, again, we'll be looking to drop those here over the next, uh, like I said, uh, next week or two or whatever. And we'll look to getting into those and everything. So. But all right, though, folks, again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As always, Again, appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. You guys make this break group totally worth uh, totally worth the work and, and the effort and stuff like that. So, again, um, but like I said, hopefully, hopefully, I can, uh, like I said, with the prizes and all this, I'm just uh, hopefully I give you guys uh, you at least something, at least something, you know, at least, at least some of your money's worth. So, but all right, folks, appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Again, I'll be setting up the uh, the prizes and stuff for the Chicago boxes. I'll be doing that next. I'll let you guys know in the room when we're ready to rock and roll on that. Again, top three. You guys will be able to choose your prize uh, if you're in the top three. 
and then I'll uh, work on getting the spam up, and then uh, I'll, I'll spam the room. And then, like I said, probably Wednesday, uh, like I said, Wednesday, I'll be looking to uh, probably drop the the 12 box 2223 mixer break. Again, that'll be $45 a spot, but there will be a $2 or two spot deal, and that'll be uh, $80 a spot. So you'll be able to knock 10 bucks off the uh, the total that way. So, but all right, folks, again, thank you guys so much. Rock and roll. But, all right, guys, again, appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. I love doing this for you. Love, uh, can't wait for the next break. As always, hopefully we can keep hitting this fire. But all right, folks. But uh, I will see you guys back in the break room.